So we had our first uh, group meeting today, I guess you could say, with the cast and the crew. We did a bit of a cold read today. Uh, we also looked at our schedule, our calendars. Um, we talked about the difference between uh, our full script, our live action script. We talked about the importance of you know, continuity, uh, making sure we have a series of costumes set up. Uh, and then as a group, we read through the full script um, together for the first time ever. And it felt pretty good to see um, all of kind of the pre-production work um, come to almost like it's full circle and we're ready to kind of begin production uh, after the March break. Um, I think uh, today was a good start to this big collaboration that we have for with the teachers and uh, you know our students. You're scared. Yeah, yeah. When you can see a bit more of the full picture, I think uh, and I'll probably still be nervous up until the moment you know, the credits roll and you see kind of the audience reaction. Some people might feel a little bit overwhelmed from my perspective. It was kind of cool to hear, you know, the script that Mr. Bozo and I kind of wrote come to life a little bit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good. The script is like pretty funny. Yeah, like it has cute little really jokes. I'm yeah. excited. Um, I did kind of, I am kind of a little bit nervous because there were some things that maybe didn't work as well as, as, well as I thought. Uh, was hoping. So, yeah, I think uh, I think I'll calm down after her, after it's done. Yeah. Oh, like we, we know what's going on. It's less yeah. scary than like live theater. Yeah. I don't know if any school has ever done anything as ambitious as this, but uh, it's going to be quite the process. Wait, are you recording? Yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> what's up? Today's day one of filming. I'm in Daniela's bedroom in the editing room. This is Space Cat. It's no big deal. Just putting on these big, massive, massive lenses. 100 uh, millimeter lens. This is a cinema lens. We got a 50, close to the human eye, and 28. A little bit wider. And so I think the big piece of equipment that we're specifically working with are uh, Zeiss cinema lenses. We've been kind of flipping back and forth between the 28 millimeter and 50 millimeter. A nice, fun piece of equipment that uh, we've been filming with today is the uh, Black Magic Urza Mini. Oh, cool. It's really cool. Are you scared? No. I mean, that part, yeah. That's kind of... The camera's so much bigger in person than I saw in a photo. I think it's going to be quite exciting to work with this stuff though, especially if the students are not used to it. I'm kind of glad that there's only three cast members with us. We kind of get a hang on or a grip on what's going on in terms of working with the crew and the actors. Um, and hopefully it all goes well today. Today was definitely a learning experience, I think, for all of us. Our students were amazing because they, you know, they stuck it out. They were totally willing to kind of like learn and, you know, the filming process is, is a difficult one because a lot of things pop up on the day and, and actually on set and stuff like that. So we totally rolled with the punches. Um, I think some of our things that we could have worked on, you know, I think being a little bit more prepared, we had to uh, alter a lot of lighting stuff. Um, this is our first time using this camera which was generously donated by Vistech. We're shooting in 4K Ultra HD. So this is like a little bit of a learning curve using this camera. It took a little bit longer, an hour and a half over <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the amount of time that I thought it would take today. So the next time, yeah, we gotta speed up and be a little bit more efficient. That's for sure. Okay, so we have a lot more people today on set than we have had in the last four days. For the most part, they're my class, Mr. Raposo's class, Mr. Mole's class, with Ms. Shrye's class here, so it hasn't been too bad. They're listening really well, taking direction in the stand, so I think it's going pretty well from the book. Oh, hey! Hi! <laughs> no. Are you excited? Oh. Yes! <laughs> there you go, in. I don't know, I just kind of found this on the uh, shelf. So I think it was Mr. Banks. Uh, he left it here. And these pants, I have no idea. I just saw them hanging somewhere, I just took them. I'm trying to look like a referee, so hopefully I did the job. This is the, the game plan. So we're going to start here. We're going to work our way around the court to here. And then hopefully we can all celebrate and party in the end zone. Because we're going to have a good time. Sound smart. Like, 
We don't it's wash them. It's head, but it's not a uniform for shopping. So, yeah, so Nick, what are you wearing? <laughs> no words, only actions. Some, uh, <laughs> some glider? Glider. Camera slider. Camera glider. Glide cam. You know those, uh, like, exoskeleton suits you see in, like, pop culture? There we go. I think it better not be on, eh? Or else we're gonna fight. <laughs> All right, so right now we're heading down to uh, what we're calling the Sushi Date Square. But um, I think it had, probably has a more official name. It's kind of like the square. Royal Courtyards. Um, the Royal Courtyards was just informed, thank you. Uh, we're not really sure if we even have permission to film there. But we do have a permit, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to just do our best and uh, see if we can get it done today. It's gonna be a good day. So uh, yeah, Royal Courtyard, see you there. You want to explain what this is called? It's called a dead wombat. <laughs> so what is the deal with our permits? Uh, yeah, what is the deal with our permits? We're here, um, I think we have a permit here. Uh, <laughs> we're not sure if our permit actually got approved or not. So yeah, if anyone says anything to us, we're a, we're a school and we're with kids. in the scene it's supposed to be May but there's snow outside but yeah I'm cold <laughs> It's really cold outside, and the sun's kind of bright, which is kind of weird, but so we can't tell if our footage is in focus or not, because we just can't see the screen. So now we came to Tim Hortons to plug the laptop in, check our car to see if what we captured is in focus, then I'm gonna head back. Mr. Bose has been really nice to stay back in the cold to watch all the gear, and we just came here about 10 minutes just to warm up and uh, check some stuff. <laughs> Nice, easy. I'm sick. And I'm here. Oh my gosh, I need to go to sleep. Okay, so a cool fact. Uh, we know in the script that it says that the students are going for sushi, but uh, we actually want to give a big thank you to Cheeks and the Bertone family, who were former students of St. Michael who let us come in today and shoot in the back of their restaurant um, just because it was an open space. They were really helpful today, so thank you very much. Everyone check out Cheeks, 30 years in Bolton. Everything's homemade. Today we're shooting John Franco's little Superman scene, so it's a little difficult, but we're figuring it out. Okay, so it's a bit of a trick shot today. That's our toughest no, scene in the sense that we're gonna try to make it look like John Franco is playing Jimmy is flying. Or falling. <laughs> He's trying to fly. So we're gonna shoot it. As you can see, you'll notice today we have the ladder out. So we're gonna try to change the, the height perception kind of the camera to make it look like he's actually on the roof. Then we're gonna bring our portable green screen out back here and have him do a series of fake jumps. It makes it look like he's falling right from the roof uh, onto the floor. Uh, we're a little bit excited. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take uh, too, too long and we kind of get it right so we can uh, go home and rest up for the next day. I'm cold. Today. We're shooting Jimmy jumping off the roof, believing he's Superman. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a little bit difficult. It's, uh, it's a little chilly outside today. Am I nervous? Morris grew up the more time it takes, right? I'm trying to get it right on the first track. So yeah, we moved inside because uh, our green screen wasn't long enough. Number one, it was kind of windy out there, and uh, number two, in order to pull kind of like this stunt off, we have to have some proper mats in here. So the green screen cover wouldn't cover the whole entire mat, or at least the mat that we need. So obviously, uh, John Franco's safety is the most important uh, thing here. So now we have our lovely green screen here. Uh, we're just gonna have to light it properly with some uh, daylight balance kind of bulbs, and uh, we should be able to put them on the roof after this. <laughs> 
what day is it? Um, it's, it's Saturday. Saturday. Uh, 921 a.m. I'm extremely tired. I'm not that tired. I just want to go home. <laughs> oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Partigiano, portami via, che mi sento di morire. Do. Um, so we just finished doing the epic dance scene. The cast and crew were having some lunch. So now we're back in the studio, our biggest uh, scene of the day, which is I think four pages of script in the studio. Hoping to be out of here by four o'clock, fingers crossed. ASMR. Hi, uh, Joe Capone. I was uh, in AV last year. I'm graduating now. I go to Ryerson for film. I just witnessed, what, what scene is this? Scene 45 of uh, what we do in the studio. Ma it makes me emotional to see, because uh, we left a school with like this vision for AV, and now it's kind of getting like seen through, right? So I feel directly responsible. There it is. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, my name's Alessia. Um, I'm playing Daniela. My name's John Franco. I play Jimmy in What We Do in the Studio. Hi, <laughs> my name is Michael, and I play Sammy. So I'm Yolando Zaccanini. I play the role as Adrian. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm playing Rachel in What We Do in the Studio. So Daniela's kind of like a kind of sassy character. She's like, even though we're like a group of like nerds, I think she thinks she's cooler than everyone, and probably the whole school still thinks she's a nerd. But in her head, she's. She's the cool one of the group. Jimmy's a pretty smart guy. Jimmy knows what he's doing. He's very creative, a hard worker, but Jimmy's a little bit weird, right? Jimmy goes by his own flow. You'll see a lot of that in wearing the superhero outfits, like Batman, Superman. He gets him a little bit of weird looks, but hey, Jimmy does what Jimmy wants. Man. So Sammy is kind of like this weird, kind of dozed off, yes. intelligently, Brilliant mindset. Popular jock, you know, pretty big guy because he's the captain of the football, basketball, and hockey team. My character is really fun to play because she's very organized, very supportive of her fellow AV crew members. She's just like an all around good person. I think I'm pretty good at playing this character because uh, I'm pretty sassy myself, you know? But yeah, I don't think I'm as uh, rude as Daniela in real life, but um, playing her kind of a little bit more exaggerated. It's not that hard for me to get into character for Jimmy because I'm a little bit weird as well. It was hard for me to kind of go into this role because there were parts that I needed to kind of go out of my comfort zone because like there are things where I have to like stare into the camera like deeply and intensely and that that was kind of awkward for me at first like now it's kind of like getting used to it because like everyone's encouraging me and everything like I'm like a weird quirky person like once you get to know me so I mean I can kind of relate to what the character is portraying to be. Definitely enjoying myself. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Getting into character is all right. Sometimes like, I actually have to try, you know, get into character, but sometimes when it's like something aggressive or like demanding, I'm really good at that. Because I'm kind of like him in the sense that I'm an athlete. I am pretty big too, and I'm also on the football and the team. I think we do share a bit of similarities because we're both like organized, and also we see the best in people, and we try and keep a positive attitude when we're dealing with tough situations. I would say probably my favorite scene to film so far has been maybe the jumping off the roof scene because that was pretty difficult, but it was really funny and enjoyable. And also the audition scene was really good too because it was nice to see how Rachel would react to all the different people coming and going trying to get into the AV crew. Ew, they're still yeah. sitting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is our, one of our last days filming and kind of disappointed because I really like working with a uh, big camera. Ursa Mini Pro Black Magic. Great camera. You know, I'm just kind of disappointed how we can't go on longer, you know? And it's been a great experience, actually, because I've never worked with any of these professional equipment before. You know, I, overall, fun, fun time. Okay, that's all you
all you get. Today is the last day of filming. We're getting done with all the interviews and all that stuff. Mixed feelings about this. I'm kind of happy, but I'm also kind of sad. It was really, really, really fun filming this, and now it's coming to an end. And I'm excited to see what the, the end result will be. It was a lot of work and time, but I'm so excited to see the final product. Relieved a little bit. Yeah, it feels pretty good, I, I think. It went by really fast, despite the fact that, I mean, we knew it was going to be like a, a really kind of compressed schedule. I think it's probably more stressful for It was Betty. a little bit stressful yeah. scheduling and making sure every cast member knew exactly what they needed for what day and they, they were prepared. But I'm definitely not going to miss the stress. <sighs> Favorite scene that I filmed? Though I hated it at the time, it was absolutely the worst while I was filming it, but it's got to be the fallen off the roof scene. When they let me be in it, because I'm not an actress, I was just part of the crew, but they let me be in some scenes. And my favorite part is probably the first day when we were getting everything together and stuff. I think just being here and uh, building a relationship with students in a different way than the classroom and spending all this time with them and seeing how much they actually probably enjoy the process as we went. I think that um, despite the fact that we were like some weeks, three nights a week here until six o'clock or close to, it was like a fun experience. The, the small group of students that were here for all those times, I think it, it just kind of strengthened the bond. Yeah, as cheesy as that sounds, and never, but uh, yeah, no one really complained. complained Everyone all, just which... like got down to it. Yeah. How do I feel now that filming is done? Well, to be honest, it feels pretty good and I think uh, I can see it on everyone's face to know that we're not going to be at school a little bit late anymore is probably a good thing. You know, you're going to miss it a little. It's tough as we got five weeks left, we're getting close to that kind of uh, early June premiere and uh, it's, it's almost like we've only finished one third of what we actually need to do. You know, now there's the editing process and then it's not even about just taking the clips and slapping them on, you got to do color correcting and getting the scenes right and then making sure the audio sounds good, but then not just the audio of the actors, but putting in music and the sound effects and uh, everything like that as well. And even just setting up the events themselves and selling tickets, We're trying to make the event really match the amount of time and effort we put into it. So how do I feel right now? Good. Um, but then I'm gonna feel that good for like five minutes and then we're gonna go forward and uh, get the rest of it done because it's still, uh, still a long journey. So uh, we're gonna get there though, or so we hope. Okay, so right now uh, we're just inside the Matrix. Uh, it's just past six o'clock, so the doors have just opened uh, for the big film festival feature film premiere night. Uh, so right now it's a little bit quiet. It's kind of maybe hopefully the calm before the storm. People are slowly starting to trickle in. We're hoping for a good turnout. Yeah, we're excited. You know, there's a bit of nervous energy, but at the same time, we've already seen the film. You know, we had our little cast and crew screening. For me, it's bringing the whole event together tonight and kind of put the message out there that, you know, we are a school that loves to create you know, is uh, big supporters of uh, communications technology and new media and uh, all the fun film and photography that comes with that. Yeah, you know what, as, as a teacher, it's, I'm always nervous on film festival night because, you know, sometimes I just feel it's like a reflection of what you teach. It's an uneasy night for myself and Mr. Bozo, but uh, I'm pretty confident on the, uh, the material that the students have developed. So it's going to be a fun night. Yeah, I thought it was an amazing uh, premiere today. You know, I thought the, the film was very well received. To speak for both of us, we said we re worked really hard on it. I think this is just a, a night for all of us to kind of celebrate our hard work. It's like it was our first film we shot together. We had our first fight on set. But definitely this is gonna go down as like something I'll remember for sure. Just because I, I don't even know if we're ever gonna do anything like this again. You know what they say, like a perfect storm, the right circumstances, things all fell into place, you know, and for these things to happen, some things couldn't happen. So it's a great experience and of course, yeah, something I think I'll definitely remember always. Yeah, and we just wanna say uh, thank you to all the uh, students, uh, actors and crew who uh, participated and gave up all their time. We really appreciate it and we wanna uh, send a special shout out to our Vistec. This tech family, big time. That's Richard Basca and Norma. Norma Markham. Without them, uh, we couldn't have gotten this uh, completed. So thank you guys very much. Thank you, big time. Yeah, thank you. 
I don't wanna see you cry You don't have to feel this emptiness She said I love you till the day that I die well, Maybe she's right Cause I don't wanna feel like I'm not me And to be honest I don't even know why I let myself get down in the food 